almost everything predicted during Event 201 simulation has now actually happened, except for one thing. An internet blackout. Millions of people around the world got a very small taste of what can happen when technology fails, on Monday, when most of the Google network went down, and people could not access their Gmail email accounts, YouTube videos, and many other Google services. For those who rely upon Google for home devices, it was a sobering wake-up call. Early Monday morning, Joe Brown walked into his daughter's room and delivered his usual greeting, Hey Google, turn on the lights. He owns a Google smart speaker that lets him control the lights with his voice, and which, when you're holding a kid with a bottle or a diaper full of crap, is usually pretty good, he said. But that morning, nothing happened. With the lights out, Brown grabbed a lantern. Cradling his daughter in one hand and his phone in the other, he tweeted, I'm sitting here in the dark, in my toddler's room, because the light is controlled by Google Home. Rethinking a lot right now. Brown was in the dark because Alphabet Incorporated's Google had suffered a widespread outage, breaking not only internet staples like Gmail and YouTube, but an array of home devices that increasingly rely on the largest technology platforms. Elsewhere, a London technologist reported his alarm at being unable to use his Nest thermostat, a Google product. It's when Google is down and you can't heat your home that you realize how scarily reliant you are on Google, he wrote. These events happened in the midst of several reported cyber hacks among other technology companies, including the Pentagon servers on Tuesday, December 15. Jim Hoft of Gateway Pundit reported, the Pentagon imposed an emergency shutdown of computer network handling classified material on Tuesday. This follows the rare emergency directive 2101 on Sunday night by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, in response to a known compromise involving SolarWinds or ion products. Sunday night's directive was only the fifth emergency directive issued by CISA under the authorities granted by Congress in the Cybersecurity Act of 2015. According to Just the News, the Pentagon has imposed an emergency shutdown of its secret internet protocol router network, which handles classified information up to the secret level. One official said, this has never happened in the middle of a workday. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Are you prepared for an internet blackout and electrical grid disruption? These inconveniences suffered this week with Google going down are nothing compared to what is probably coming down the road and which could be imminent. Imagine what life will be like with no internet at all for an extended period of time and where electrical service could become very unstable and also be down for an extended period of time. For those who have been paying attention, the globalists have actually been warning us that this is coming for some time now. Earlier this year, Health Impact News reported about Event 201, which was hosted by the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and was a simulation of a worldwide pandemic and the response to that pandemic in October of 2019, just weeks before the now infamous CV-19 virus was identified in Wuhan, China. Almost everything predicted during that simulation has now actually happened, except for one thing. An internet blackout. Will there be an internet blackout to control information? Earlier this year, around the time the US presidential debate started, the media started using the term dark winter. Derek Bros of the Conscious Resistance created a 12-minute documentary covering the historical meaning of dark winter and how it has been used in the past for simulations, much like Event 201. Dark Winter exercise took place in June 2001, only months before the 9-11's attacks. This exercise took place at Andrews Air Force Base in Camp Springs, Maryland, and involved several congressmen, a former CIA director, a former FBI director, government insiders, and privileged members of the press. The exercise simulated the use of smallpox as a biological weapon against the American public, during the dark winter exercise, authorities attempt to stop the spread of dangerous misinformation and unverified cures, just like with the Event 201 simulation. Dark winter further discusses the suppression and removal of civil liberties, such as the possibility of the president to invoke the Insurrection Act, which would allow the military to act as law enforcement upon request by a state governor, as well as the possibility of martial rule. 
The script says, martial rule may include, but are not limited to, prohibition of free assembly, national travel ban, quarantine of certain areas, suspension of the writ of habeas corpus, in other words, arrest without due process, and or military trials in the event that the court system becomes dysfunctional. What is important to know is, Dark Winter was largely written and designed by Tara O'Toole and Thomas Inglesby of the Johns Hopkins Center, along with Randy Larson and Mark Demir of the Analytic Services Institute for Homeland Security. O'Toole, Inglesby, and Larson were directly involved in the response to the alleged anthrax attacks, which took place in the days after 9-11. These individuals personally briefed Vice President Cheney on Dark Winter. Coincidentally, Event 201 was co-hosted by the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, which is currently led by Dark Winter co-author, Thomas Inglesby. Tara O'Toole was also a key player in the Claydex simulation. Why is the corporate media predicting a dark winter? On July 8, 2020, the World Economic Forum met and discussed a digital pandemic, which they claimed would be far more disastrous than the CV-19. Jeremy Jurgens, the World Economic Forum Managing Director, stated, I believe that there will be another crisis. It will be more significant. It will be faster than what we've seen with CV-19. The impact will be greater, and as a result, the economic and social implications will be even more significant. Klaus Schwab, the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, stated. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention, to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, could bring a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The CV-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance, in comparison to a major cyber attack. Most reports are now saying that, if he does not get the Supreme Court to overturn the election results, that he will invoke the Insurrection Act and deploy the military domestically to allegedly start arresting people for treason. President Trump has shaken up his cabinet in recent weeks, seemingly to gain more control over the military and the intelligence agencies. But not only are we facing an internal civil war, it is expected that we will soon be attacked from outside the US, and indeed it appears as if the cyber war may have already begun this week. China is the most common enemy of the United States, now that is blamed by both the pharma-owned corporate media, and many in the alternative media as well, as planning to attack the US. This appears to be mainly a cyber attack, with potential attacks against our infrastructure here in the US, but China also seems to be involved with funding many of the leftist Marxist groups that will surely oppose President Trump and his efforts to remain in the White House. War, particularly cyber war, seems to have already been started, and everyone should absolutely prepare for the chaos that seems to be on our very doorstep, with the predictions of the World Economic Forum very likely coming true, since almost everything they originally predicted and planned for regarding CV-19 has come true. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.